taking a look at question number four from the adding fractions and mixed numbers worksheet. We have five and two eighths and we need to add ten twelfths to that. So we can go about this a couple of ways. Um, I need to convert five and two eighths into an improper fraction, but before I do that I'm going to change five and two eighths to five and a quarter because I know eventually I'm going to want to have a common denominator and 4 and 12 work out to be a common denominator or at least common denominator than what 8 and 12 would. <clears throat> For 8 and 12 we would have to go to 24 with 4 and 12 we can have a common denominator of 12 which is going to help us in the end. So I know that 2 eighths reduces down to uh, 1 fourth to get that I'm dividing 2 by 2 and I'm dividing 8 by 2. So I have 5 and a quarter and I need to change it into an improper fraction. To do that I'm going to start with 4 times 5, and I'm working this way around the fraction, and then I'm going to add 1. So I have 4 times 5 plus 1. You could write that out like this, 4 times 5 plus 1 on the top, and we would still have 4 on the bottom. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21 over 4 and we need to add 10 twelfths to that. As of right now, we don't have a common denominator, so we're going to have to make some changes. So I'm going to multiply 4 by 3, but in order to do that, I also have to multiply 21 by 3. So we take 3 times 21, and we get 63 on the top over 12 plus 10 over 12. That gives us 73 over 12. Now we are not done. We need to see how many times 12 goes into 73. Maybe you need to do some long division, or if you know your 12s, you know that 12 times 6 is 72. So it would go in 6 times. 12 times 6 was 72. So you'd say 73 minus 72, which is 1 and then you'd still have your denominator of 12. And that is the answer for question number four, six and one twelfth. And you would box that in, and that is it. Email me if you guys have any questions.